Hi economists, in this short video I will talk a bit about elasticity, specifically income elasticity of demand, also shortened to YED, and explain the angle curve because sometimes students um, struggle to understand this, this diagram. Um, the aim of these short videos is to provide you with a brief overview of key economic theories, concepts and diagrams in order to make these more accessible to you. Okay, so let's start with a few key concepts and definitions shown in the um, in YED and the angle curve. So IB concepts that might be relevant are scarcity, choice and economic well-being. And um, income elasticity of demand measures the responsiveness of demand to changes in income. To calculate YED, we work out the percentage change in quantity demanded of a good and divide that by the percentage change in income. And you'll see I've applied this in the next slide. To identify what the value of YED means and whether the good is normal or inferior. So remember, whether it's positive or negative does matter with YED. So if it's greater than zero, it's positive and the good is a normal good. If the value is between zero and one, then we say the good is a necessity. And if its value is greater than one, it's a luxury. Uh, but if YED is less than zero, the value is negative, then the good is an inferior good. So as income increases, consumers switch to normal goods. Remember that income is a factor that shifts the demand curve as well. And so the angle curve is a curve that shows the relationship between consumer income and demand for a product and indicates whether a good is normal or inferior. So it might have a different shape for a different good, but I'm going to go through one, um, say this is the um, angle curve for quantity of KFC meals, a bit of a favourite in my household. And so you've got income on um, the, the Y axis and quantity of KFC meals on the X axis. And um, the angle curve shows that at very low incomes, a good may be a luxury, but as income increases, the good might become a necessity and at high income levels in this case the good becomes an inferior good so we can really look at the shape of the angle curve here all right so you must remember your definitions of inferior goods and normal goods I haven't included that in this short video so let's break it down so between the income of 10 and 20,000 KFC is a luxury good as the income elasticity of demand is greater than one. So if you work out the actual value, it comes out at two. So you can practice your equations as well while you're looking at this. And then between 20 and 30, KFC meals become a necessity as their value is greater than zero but less than one. The actual YED is 0.66 if you work it out using the numbers here. And between 30 and 50,000, um, consumption levels are constant, YED equals zero. And then after an income of 50,000, KFC meals then become an inferior good as the YED is less than zero. If you calculate the actual YED in here, you'll find it's negative 1.25. So understanding YED is useful for industries to predict if their market is likely to expand or not in the future. So hopefully you understand why, um, why the shape is like that and how you can use the values to identify um, why the shape is, is like that, that's showing its luxury moving into an inferior good. Okay, so some finish with some examples of IB exam questions. So more often than not, you're going to be asked about YED than the angle curve specifically. Before 2021, you might have been asked more about the angle curve, but it seems the more recent questions are focused more on um, income elasticity of demand. So there's some possible connections here, like a paper 1A question explaining why an increase in incomes over time may lead to an increase in demand for goods, but a decrease in demand for other goods. And then some paper 1B uh, example questions that I've taken from the InThinking website. So using real world, these are your yeah, 1B. So using real world examples, evaluate the implications for producers, consumers and, as, and the economy as a whole, that the income elasticity of demand for primary products tends to be lower than the, the YED for manufactured products and services. So a fair bit of application of YED in these example 
questions and I put two more in there. I won't read them out. You can read them while you're looking at this. Thank you so much.